Well, Pat, the travel ban, as you know, is a key part of the president's campaign for the White House. Now, most travelers we spoke to and experts are saying this is not the America they know. Everyone should uh, help each other and not uh, put borders. It's the most un American thing to ban people from actually coming in. Reaction from travelers at LAX was swift after hearing the nation's highest court ruled President Trump's travel ban is constitutional. The ban bars nationals of seven countries from entering the U.S. In five of those countries, a majority of residents are Muslim. Today is a devastating day in the history of this country. That's Mohammed Tahar with the ACLU who joined the Council on American-Islamic Relations to voice their outrage at the ruling. It is a stark reminder that the ink from the pen of the racists and the segregationists and the interners has not yet dried. The president says the policy is needed to protect the country from terrorist attacks. Carl Schusterman, former INS prosecutor and now immigration attorney, says that makes no sense to him. Most of the... Uh people who are terrorists on 9-11 are from countries that are not even under the travel ban. He says many of his clients are physicians from countries on the list who work in underserved communities. Now I'm getting calls from physicians that says, well, they won't let me into the United States. So who's going to suffer? It's going to be all those people who are U.S. citizens who can't get proper health care. This was a scene when Trump first rolled out a ban a week after taking office in January. It triggered chaos and protests at LAX as travelers were stopped from boarding international flights and detained for hours. That ban and another was blocked by the courts, but this one has been upheld. I think it's a bad idea to ban people. Still, others support the ban, like Barack Kordovich from Panama. He says he wants to feel safe when he's traveling to the U.S. I don't think that Trump will... Uh make the bad decision for his country. Now, most of the travelers we spoke with say there simply has to be a better way, and they do say they are seriously worried how far this ban will eventually go. Back to you.